Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile, and today I want to give you my impressions of the Geekwald GK10. I want to thank Hi-Fi Go for providing the GK10 for review, and also please check out the link down below for Hi-Fi Go where you can purchase the Geekwald GK10 or any other of the fine products that they offer. Some quick specs on the GK10 from Geekwald and that is they have two dynamic drivers for the base, one balanced armature driver for the mids, and two piezo electric ceramic drivers for the treble. A frequency response of 20 hertz to 30 kilohertz. Thank you very much Geekwald for keeping it somewhat realistic as human hearing is 20 to 20. Impedance of 6 ohms, sensitivity of 102 decibels. The unboxing experience is un inspiring and very lackluster for the price you get a little case like this you can see a few of the tips in there and you just open it up and inside you will find another bag of tips and a small carrying case and that's basically it tips you get a set of three of black and a set of three of gray both are silicones the black ones are a little more stiff also the IEMs themselves they're really cheaply made. They look somewhat nice in pictures, but once you hold them in your hand, you realize these things are cheaply made. They're nice and lightweight, but they just feel cheap, especially for 50 bucks. Geekwald, you can uh, up the build quality a little bit here. Also, uh, the cable is actually fairly nice. I would use this cable with other IEMs. It's a custom build, universal shell, nothing too spectacular. Fit and comfort is okay. They are lightweight, which is kind of shocking for the five driver tribrid design. Uh, the cable, as I said, is the best built part of the Geekwalds. Geekwald 10, uh, GK10, excuse me, is very easy to drive. If anything pushed it. I used it mainly with a phone, and that was either the Samsung Note 10 Plus or the newly acquired one plus nine pro i did use it with dongles my two dongles of choice were the odyssey hd and also the spectra x both of them worked very well i did use the sony nwa 105 walkman as well but for the most part i just used these off of a phone with a dongle all right so uh also i did use the gray tips as mentioned it does come with two I found that the gray tips were slightly more comfortable and they also had a touchless bass blow and compressed sound. The black ones were a little stiffer and a little bit more firm and not as comfortable and also they changed the sonics just slightly. All right, speaking of the sonics, um, yeah. Let's see, bloated, muddy bass, a very much dominant impact in the bass, but it is more mid-bass focused. Um, it lacks refinement in the bass. The mids are recessed, and they also get bleed from the mid, from the bass. Uh, the vocals and instruments sound thin. It's grainy. <laughs> Treble is somewhat adequate, actually, believe it or not. But it does lack air. It's compressed, stuffy soundstage. There's three blob imaging, very little depth and layering in the stage. It just lacks cohesion. And the biggest problem is the tone and timbre. The tone is just lackluster. And then the timbre, horrifying. I mean, this is horrible uh, timbre. And then the, the lack of detail retrieval throughout. Uh, it's got low-level resolution throughout. The Geekwald GK10s are very, very much unrealistic and unnatural sounding. For the price tag, there are so many better options that sound way more accurate and realistic and correct. They have better resolution and detail retrieval. There's less compressed soundstage. And so... I, the GK10 is an okay sound, but it does nothing special. And for being the five driver tribrid that it is, you would think that it would be better, but they obviously had to cut corners for the price. So some IEMs that you can just do better at the same price, Jade Audio EA1, Tin Hi-Fi T2, Moondrop SSR, <clears throat> Blonde BL03, Blonde Mini. If you want to up the, the price tag just a little bit. 
Tin Hi-Fi T3, Moondrop Aria, Moondrop Starfield, CCA, CKX. If you want a tribrid in your collection for a cheap price, here you go, Geekwall GK10. If you want a basic IEM that isn't good at much of anything, but isn't the worst sounding, here you go, GK, GK10. But if you want an IEM that sounds natural, accurate, detailed, resolving, and very much anything else that just is proper, then look elsewhere. The Geekwald GK10 sound is very odd, but it also is weirdly satisfying. And it has a gift in a unique way. The Geekwald GK10 is a special talent in that it reveals just how good your other IEMs are. I am Dave, the Honest Audiophile. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember to enjoy the music, and honesty is always the best policy.